Hello, I'm Edu from edu for java and this is the Android tutorial number 3. We're going to see user interface Java versus XML. As we talk about, uh, a user interface in, in Android can be developed can be developed by Java, Java code or using XML. Uh, let's revisit the last example that we work in the later tutorials. Here, Ventana have a, is, is an activity that have a method on create. Uh, we override the on create method, and this on create has a set content view method that is fed with an error layout main that is this layout XML that is here uh, this XML has a linear layout and uh, inside the linear layout that is, a con that is a container we found a text view ok let's run it let's see what happened with uh, we, we run it uh, here, the first time that uh, the, the emulator starts, we get this screen, we, we can press menu and we get our application. Uh, as you can see, it is the layout and the hello world, uh, hello edu, that is, hello edu is the text view we, we, we saw in the main XML. Uh, it's inside a layout. The layout is invisible. invisible. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can do this by code instead of XML. In order to do that, we are going to comment this line, send set content view, and we are going to start creating the components by code. I'm going to paste this Java code here and we get here an error. These errors are for imports. If you press Ctrl Shift O, we get automatically the imports as you can see here. Uh, okay, now we are going to put the XML here in order to compare what we do by Java code. Okay. The linear layout. I create a linear layout here with a new linear layout and this need a parameter. The parameter here is a context. Uh, which what is a context? Here uh, we can see the context is actually the activity. If we go here, you control T and we get we can see here that activity inherit from context. Then activity and ventana is a context. Then we, we put this and this is the context that our component is asking for. Okay. Then we are going to start with text view. Text view, we make a new, create in the same way, uh, set the text a uh, string hello that is in a string XML, but I, we refer from the from code we refer with r string hello instead of uh, at string slash hello. Text view, N now we are going to set the in the linear layout we are going to add this text view inside and at, uh, at the end we are going to set the context view instead of uh, with the XML with the just with the linear layout that is the first component we create here okay let's run the application okay we can run from here just pressing this button here and the emulator starts and you can see that 
our application is the same is the same but instead of xml we use java code java code instead xml we get the same functionality okay let's try to do something more interesting let's add for example a button here I paste this code uh, shift control o in order to get the imports and I get an error because update is not here uh, I'm going to pick update and paste the update method here ok uh, I have a variable uh, without definition I'm going to ask for create a field here and I will start initialize this in zero um, ok this is a new button and then the button is add to the linear layout add view uh, I'm going to organize this here better we call update method here with button in order to set the text click number ok close plus i in order to get the text in the button ok let's run it uh, here is loading is load here we get a problem the orientation of the layout here is horizontal instead of vertical if you remember the XML main layout was vertical in, and here we set nothing ok we are going to set here the set orientation orientation ok orientation is int yes for sure there is a constant for sure there is a constant in maybe linear layout yeah in linear layout dot and we are going yes horizontal vertical hey, this one ok then now we set the orientation and start execute again and we get perfect when we click here in the button nothing happen ok let's try to make something happen when we click the button um, we have to add a listener to the button in order to do something when we click the button ok let's I'm going to paste here this that is just in button I set on click listener and the listener is going to be the same object Ventana on click listener ok the problem is Ventana is not an on click listener uh, you know you, you have to implement the interface uh, ok but it, this is easy we can click here and we pick let Ventana implement on click listener yeah this one and magically we get on click listener here yeah but uh, we get an error now that we need to implement add unim unimplemented methods now yes we get on click here we can put the code to do something we are going to call update in order to increment i and uh, ok we, we are going to see the the effect ah uh, yes we have a problem here yeah because I need a cast here yes cast ok let's check the 
çık git. Here you can see I click 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 and get one another number. Okay, we do all this in Java code. Let's try to do the same in Xmer. Okay, we have we need to add here a button. I can paste the code here for a button and I'm going to comment uncomment this and I'm going to comment all the code about creating components yes and to here yeah but I get a problem here yeah this this uh, button uh, I have no reference for button I need a reference for button in order to call the update method and for the listen uh, how can I get I can I get with this this is okay check this ID here at plus ID slash button generate in the error file this constant button and we can reference this ID button from the Java code here and this find view by ID give me the reference to the button that is created in layout main Okay, I have the, the reference for button here and I can work with the button. Let, let's check if this work this is working. Okay, yes, as you can see now we are working with XML instead of Java code. The last versions of Android have a, a better solution for this. That is an attribute on click okay you, you can set in the button an attribute on click and fit this on click with a method num a method name okay we we, s we tell here uh, on click has to be attended by a on click method then we go to ventana here and we can delete this because it, we, we don't need the listener anymore we can delete this we can delete the implementation because we don't need need a listener anymore we delete this too and this on click that we receive as a parameter a view is enough okay this is the give me an error I am going to comment it and we are going to handle this later okay run let's see is if this works okay we get a blank button but if we click okay it's working yeah the black button the black button is because the update here we comment does not initialize but we can fix this here uh, we are going to put click number zero here click number and just enough. Let's start and see what happened. Okay, we get zero. One, two, three. Okay, everything is working. As you can see, today we uh, we work with Java and with XML. And uh, for this tutorial, we are out. See you.